sweet life I tremble but my cost is not in my sound I felt like she was to me that I didn't really get to express when I was a kid or something, so it's like I'm expressing her now <laughs> or something. I, I just um, decided that I wanted to do my music a lot, like all the time, and um, it felt the right thing to do to go to the States because what I do, I don't think I could have, I, I couldn't really survive doing what I do in England. I don't really understand how I write songs. Uh, it's quite a magical process for me because I don't really feel that I'm writing the songs. I feel like I'm basically just channeling feelings. Uh, so I can't like sit down and write a song on purpose. It's just something that uh, overwhelms me, and I just get it out. Let it out. I don't know. I d I'm just really happy about the new album. <laughs> so, but that's always the same, I think. It's always like the new stuff that you get most excited about. Yeah, that's true. Like Solitude, sweet sound. It was part of the photo shoot for my last album cover. And we just we just filmed a lot of we did loads and loads of <coughs> that was actually the photographer's hand getting me out of the sea because I, I I was a wave I was in the sea and a wave kind of threw me over and I, I needed help getting out but he, with one hand he was getting me out and the other hand he was taking the photograph <laughs> so it was pretty amazing well that was a, it, it's out as an EP now. And I, I re-recorded it for the album, uh, and I put some more lyrics of my own in there. So there's a there's different version of it. Maybe will be on the album um, with David Shrigley's lyrics and some of mine. I think honestly, everything influences me musically that I hear. Uh, I like classical, a lot of classical music. I like really like blues and kind of country. Um, I like pop music, um, I like a lot of old kind of 50s stuff like the Everly Brothers and uh, like the Shirelles and Irma Thomas, Otis Redding, like a lot of soul things. Um, and, you know, when I was a teenager I think I was quite influenced by the like Daniel Johnston and uh, the grunge era, like Sonic Youth, and, and the the punk era in the in America, especially like Black Flag and stuff like the Misfits were a big thing for me. Uh, I don't know, I've really varied, really, like, ev I'm all over the place in terms of what I listen to. It, it really interests me, actually, some things people say, because I'm like, wow, yeah, that is true. And I would never have thought that about, you know, I, I wouldn't have gone into thinking, like, that's what it's like, that's what my music's like, but some, some sometimes people, I think, get it like it, it, you know, it's, it's what it means to me is completely different than it's going to mean to any, anyone else. But because I'm English, yeah. yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure I do. Yeah. But a lot of the time, I think sometimes people can't tell because when I'm over there, I, I end up absorbing the accent quite a lot. I don't have it so much now. No, I cannot hear it No, <laughs> but when I'm there, <laughs> I get, I, I, it's really weird. I just absorb it. And so when people, well, I think people can obviously still tell I'm English. So you... But it's but not something I do purposely. Mm. It's just, uh, I'm just a sponge for accents. Mm. Like when we were in Glasgow, I just became Scottish. Really? Yeah, for the day. <laughs> Sweet life. I tremble but my cost is not